Hey guys, uh, another tutorial. Uh, this is not so much a tutorial, but a, a tip for hotkeys. Uh, some you might know, and some might be new to you, which is you know what I'm focusing on. A lot of these keys, uh, they're not just obscure for like Shift F to go into fly mode, which I'm sure most of you, some of you wouldn't know what that is. But uh, most of these uh, will you will use in your scene, so that's why I want to show you the most common hotkeys. You should know, but you probably don't. So I made a list in school. I was bored, and I so I'm gonna be reading off this list. Uh, all right, I got the Suzanne monkey because it gives me more vertices to show you what's going on than you know uh, a cube which has what six faces. Not much to work with there. All right, so let's get started. Uh, da da da. All right, one hot key. You all know the H key, the hide key, I'm sure. H, and you hide that selected portion that you have. Uh, here's Alt H, would bring it back up. But let's say you just want to focus on the I. So, you know, you uh, box select that I, but hitting Shift H will hide everything but what you selected. So it's the inverse of the H key, basically. Alt H will bring it up as normal. Another thing you can do for this is circle select, hitting the C. It brings up a ball, a, and basically you select what you want. It's better than the box select if you have an organic model and you just want to select like the outer edges of it. Scrolling can make it smaller, so you know you don't need such a big you know circle select. Also, hitting the middle mouse button deselects anything it's going over. So left mouse button selects, middle mouse deselects. And same with the box select, hitting B and box selecting in uh, place. Hitting B again, but instead of left clicking and dragging, middle mouse clicking and dragging and anything that's in your path will be deselected. All right, uh, doo -doo -doo. lasso select, control, left click. Anything that falls under what you make will be selected. So, you know, it's Blender gives you lots of ways to do things. Just whatever you like, whatever appeals to you. Box select, circle select, control, left click, lasso select, or a combination of all. You will probably be using a combination of all. So, uh, that's a couple. And here's another tip. The V key see uh, okay so let's click on a vertice and let's say that you want to if you hit V and pull you rip that vertice away from its proper place if I grab this or not let me get a new scene because I did a test for control N, another hotkey to bring up a new file uh, yeah, I did it before it ran a little too long, so doing it again. Alright, now let's turn on a fresh monkey. Suzanne. Alright, so if I right click on a vertice and I grab it, it's going to be connected to all of its four sides. But let's say I hit, if I wanted to um, separate it from one side and leave a hole, like right here in her head, if I hit V and pull, that's what it does. It, now I have a hole in Suzanne's head. Uh, let's undo this. Depends on which way you pull that the hole is created. Of course, Blender's not perfect, so it might not be where you wanted it to be, but just hitting V, Control Z, V again, and you should get what you want. All right. And one of my favorites. Uh, usually after a while working with Blender, I notice that it's a little jumpy, that if I want to focus on something, it Blender just goes all over the place. And a good way to avoid this is whatever it's selected, if you hit the period key on your numpad, it brings that into focus if it's too far away. And that's what you rotate around. I think a better way to show you this would be with a certain point. Alright, if I hit the period... Now notice that point is in the middle of my screen. That point never moves from the middle point. And so that's you basically what happens. It's the focus of your rotating. And it's just temporary, of course. It'll reset itself after a while. 
Uh, ouch. All right, and another one would be Shift B. Just select, and whatever you select will be brought into focus. Shift B again, and if I select the nose, that whole whatever I selected will engulf the whole place. So that's known as Marque Zoom or Marque or I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's uh, good for focusing on certain points. The counterpart of this, the home key. I know for Windows users, Windows users, do you have that key? I don't know for Mac or Linux, uh, but the home key basically brings all your objects into focus. Let's hit Control Shift D. And if I zoom in on this monkey, if I hit the home key, every object in my scene will be brought into focus, as you see with this outlier monkey here. All right, so that's the home key, useful for if you engulf yourself in too much zoom and you want to go to a different place in your scene, see where everything is. Home key is, that, is for that. All right. All right. Now, to seven. Let's say that I want to work in face mode. You can, of course, come down here, click on face mode, and you'll be in face mode. But another way to do this would be Control Tab. It brings up a menu right under your. Or it brings a menu right up under your mouse, which is very useful for. Uh, if you're making a complex scene and you're under a time constraint, it's, it's it really does save you time by doing it that way. Then coming down, then going back up, then coming back down. Actually, I saw this tutorial for Blender Cookie. I I did it, and it's it changes the keys from the top of your keyboard, not the numpad, but the top keys in edit mode, from vertex to edge to face with the one, two, three keys, uh, respectively. And it's very, very helpful. I like it a lot. It's a tutorial. Uh, I'll post a link below because it really does help me. And I miss it. <laughs> when, I do not, when I download a new SV, S, uh, SVN version of Blender, uh, I have to redo that. And, I mean, it's really very helpful. Just a second. All right, sorry about that. I was uh, thirsty. Uh, all right, so what was I going to show you? is a question. Yeah, so I'll post a link below. It's very helpful. And uh, let's see my list here. All right. Uh subsurfs. You will always use them. Uh, well, you should. <laughs> Anyways, it really does make your model a lot better. Uh you can either go to the modifiers tab and click on add modifier and then click on the subdivision surface or you can hit control 1 to give you a level 1 subdivision, control 2 to give you a level 2, or control 3 to give you a level 3. Now these numbers are the ones on top of the keyboard, not along the side. It does not work with the numpad numbers. Uh, just a warning. And if you want to bring it back to 0, just control 0. Mm, 0 subdivisions. So that's helpful. Um, proportional editing. Down here, you can tab into it very easily by just hitting O. I'm sure some of you know that, though. Grabbing it, and it moves around all of that, as opposed to just that one vertex. Sorry about that. Um, all right. For animators, uh, beginning animators, whatever, it's, it's pretty good that you know this. Uh, to advance frames, you would usually hit I and get a keyframe menu and then grab well you wouldn't grab your object first first you change frames so let's advance nine frames and then you would grab your monkey eye add the same uh, easy way to do this is to just hit the up arrow and that would automatic you automatically advance you uh, ten frames up or down arrow left and right arrow advances you one frame so it's good to see uh, the progress of your object. So that's just a handy tip to speed you up a little bit. Combine that, combine, combine that with the auto key the auto keyframing, 
that will really really help animation and that looks to be about it I mean that's all I know that really works um, that's really helpful anyways um, one more is the local axes I'm not sure if you know about those uh, if I were to grab Suzanne right now along the Z it'll take her up and down but if I wanted to grab her along her own local axis, you can come down here and click on local and then grab her along the Z. And, and along the Z and it'll take her along her Z. But if you just wanted to do it quickly, you can just hit G and Z, Z again. So hitting that key twice brings up the local axis. If you, if you read down here along the bottom. Well, I can't get to it, but... Uh, down down here it said along local Z it works the same for Y local Y and G grab Z X X along the local X so that's something to keep in mind alright uh, that's about it thanks for watching and I got my new computer I don't know if I mentioned that uh, so more tutorials will be coming soon